Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbinalcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I have got all of the information regarding Harvest. I'm going to show you guys everything. There is a crap ton of stuff to get into so I'd really appreciate if you guys would drop a like on the video and of course hit that sub button. That stream literally took over 30 minutes long so hopefully this will be a little bit quicker for you guys. I hope you enjoy and let's get right into it. But as you guys can see, these are some of the players that we do have coming out tomorrow. And of course, tomorrow I will break down everything for you guys. I'll give you my opinions on what sets you should do, what sets you shouldn't do, the best players to go ahead and get, how to upgrade everything, just basically all the tips you would need. So, as you guys can see, Sam Darnold, Dexter Lawrence, Royce Freeman, and we also have got Anthony Hitchens coming. Uh, some higher overall players here, Bradley Roby, DJ Fluker, Quan Williams, or maybe it's Quan Williams, Christian Kirk as well, uh, Frank Ragno, Shaq Thompson, Cole Beasley, Taco Charlton, and we've also got Kevin Byard, uh, Cortland Sutton, Andrew Worth, and TJ Watt. I know TJ Watt has been one of those guys that a lot of people have been looking forward to. Next up, I'm going to go over the Turkey players. Now, these are the players I was talking about that, depending on how good of games they have, they, of course, will upgrade. You can see there are certain goals on them. Now, for every goal they hit, they go by one. So, they can get up to 92 overall. So, for Dak, if he gets 250 passing yards, he goes up to a 91. If he gets three total touchdowns, he goes up to a 91. And if he gets both, then he goes up to a 92. Uh, he's got 81 speed, 87 throw power. 81 speed, of course, is one short of getting a skate artist. Of course, he would make him have to get one of his goals. 90 short, 86 medium. 87 deep with 84 throw under pressure 87 throw on the run and 85 play action i of course do have the sets uh to show you guys how you can get these players so just hold on for that micah hyde four total tackles one pick 85 speed great hit power great hit power 43 uh 91 zone coverage calvin ridley with 91 speed 83 catching 82 catch traffic 86 spec catch 75 jumping jumping is pretty bad Route running is pretty solid as well. Uh, next up, we have TJ Hawkinson, which, yes, if you guys have his rookie premiere, of course, you will be able to get this card tomorrow. You'll have a 90 overall TJ Hawkinson if you did absolutely nothing. Uh, 81 speed, 89 catching traffic, and spec catch with 90 catching and a 72 run block. It's actually a really solid card. Next up, we got Roquan Smith with 87 speed and 89 excel with 90 hit power, 81 zone, 88 tackling, 74 block shed, and 80 strength. Very nice on him. Uh, we do finally get a Marshawn Lattimore, and I will tell you guys right now, I think that you have to wait until after Thanksgiving to be able to add it into the Power Up card, more than likely. They didn't say this, but this is my guess. Uh, you have to wait until it actually upgrades to add into his Power Up set, unless you can just add it in, and then they'll maybe just increase it if it happens. But he's got 91 speed, 92 excel, 89 jumping, 89 agility with 82 play rec. Unfortunately, only 82 zone, but great man with 88 and 84 press. He has to either get a pick or a pass defense for him. And now let's get into the 92s. Now, you'll notice it says NAT. So there's two different ways you guys can actually get these types of players. One, there is a solo challenge sequence I will show you guys. You can actually get a free 92 overall player of your choice, which is very nice. And do not worry. I'll have a video for you guys tomorrow. Go over my personal opinion on who I think you guys might want to pick from that pack. But there also uh, is some sets you can do, which I will go over as well. And you get these players and you upgrade them with collectibles, like rolls and stuff like that. Brady, though, pretty solid throwing stats, 55 speed. He's got some burners. Quentin Nelson with a 95 strength, 86 pass block, 88 run block on him. We also have got Joey Bosa with a 96. Yes, 96 finesse move and 80 speed. That is just... Pfft. That, that is just insane. Ryan Kerrigan coming in with an 82 block shed, 91 power move, 77 speed with 83 excel. Uh, I accidentally put two pictures of Ryan Kerrigan there. My fault. There's like 80 pictures, so accidentally put one twice. AJ Boye with 88 speed, 93 excel, 90 agility, 90 jump. With the 91 play rank, 89 man, 89 zone, and 91 press. We also got Adrian Amos with 91 speed, 90 excel, 90 zone, and 85 hit power. It's actually really, really solid as well. Uh, a lot of these cards are really good. Zach Ertz, 81 speed 91 catch and traffic 90 spec catch with 63 run block 94 catch and 92 short he's like a slight upgrade from tj hawkinson they just can't run black as well and we got obj so yes yeah, so i'll dig in an upgrade 90 speed 92 jumping 92 spec catch 85 catch and traffic 90 catch and great run running stats as well 
Now, as for the Masters, we got 94 overall Michael Irvin with 92 speed, 93 jumping, 90 catch, 92 catch in traffic, and 92 spec catch with a 91 short, 88 medium, and a 90 deep route running. Night train lane, 91 speed, 91 excel, 93 zone. That car is going to have insane hit power and block shed. You already know Night Train Lane is a hitter. Uh, and when you guys log in tomorrow, you will get a Harvest Welcome Pack. I actually forgot to mention, this promo is coming out tomorrow around, they said, 10.30 a.m. So if it's not in directly at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, maybe coming out slightly later. Now with this mud tip, you guys can actually add this into the set. There is an exchange set, and with the mud tip, you actually get all eight of the turkey stuffers. And that pack is what you'll get right here if you use the mutt tip and you can see the players so you get to choose one uh, of any of these eight players you can see aj boye obj adrian amos now there also is of course a new missions list and yes there is a team captain upgrade so we get to upgrade players like ryan chazier in them now this is the soul challenge sequence i'm telling you guys about you can get the free 92 overall nat harvest player uh and a good news is that with these solos by the way you can actually just play them all on one star you don't have to play them on three stars play them on one star as long as you get them all done according to crayla what he said on stream you still get the 92 overall player and you can see here at 129 stars well you do get an 82 to 85 overall elite harvest player and like i said there's a solo for every single player i believe and you don't have to play them all in three stars you can play them on one star and still get your free player and in the mission section it tells you here you can use collectibles to upgrade your 76 overall player and it shows you all of the players as well uh there also are some other solo challenges including backyard games and harvest dailies now i believe he said that you'll get a random player i think it was from the harvest dailies challenges he was talking about but he didn't say what overall player and i'm not sure exactly what it's gonna be so it's just gonna be like a random overall harvest player every day i'm not sure if it's gonna be completely random or like a gold plus pack or like a specific overall or what but these are those backyard games this of course is father versus son you can see they are much much bigger than your team uh the harvest deal is like i said you get a player but they didn't exactly say what player and there are also four sets there's thanksgiving all-stars which is the dak prescott those players the harvest masters the turkey stubbers which is how you can get the 92 overall players and some exchange sets so the way you actually get these harvest players the all-stars you have to exchange three 86 to 89 overall elite harvest players and two 82 to 85 overall players now i don't know how much it's going to cost but of course once everything's out tomorrow i'll do a rundown and let you guys know exactly how much everything is going to cost with this but you can see that's what we need to get any of these cards uh you of course do have to complete the sets before the thanksgiving games actually start here uh that is the set there for Dak prescott micah hyde all the other players as well the same thing now, how do you get the Michael Irvin and Night Train? Well, you actually have to add specific 92 overall players. So for Michael Irvin, you have to add in the 92 overall stuffers. Now, with them, right, they're already NAT. You play the solo challenge sequence, you get to pick one of any eight that you want. So you can pick one, and then you have to complete the sets and stuff to get the other three. Don't know how much it's going to cost you just yet. But once you add them to the set, you do actually get all four of them back as well. So if you already get one is free... We really just need to see how much it's going to cost to actually build one with all the collectibles and everything. And then based off that, we can kind of determine how much Michael Irvin is actually going to go for. I'd imagine those sets would get done quite a bit because these 92 overall players, honestly, some of them are pretty dang good. And it's the same thing for Night Train Lane as well. Now, here's how you actually get some players. So you can exchange one gold harvest player for a fantasy pack containing your choice of a turkey stuffer. So exchange one gold harvest, you get a 76 overall turkey stuffer, which you then can upgrade. There's also a set for six 77 to 79 overall harvest players, and you can get a pack that gives you all eight of the turkey stuffers, which is pretty good. Uh, but of course, you don't really need to do that if you do this one with the mutt tip because... You get that, but you can change your mutt tip here to get the eight turkey stuffers. Turkey stuffers can be powered up with side dish and main course collectibles. I think I may have actually messed up in the beginning of the video when I told you guys you get to pick one of the turkey stuffers. I believe you just get all eight. But here is the objectives or some other sets, some exchange sets here. Main course collectibles. So exchange three 82 to 85 overall elite harvest players and six 77 to 79 overall gold harvest players. To earn a main course collectible, you get a bunch of stuff. 
Now, also, there are some other sets here, like Exchange 175 to 79 overall gold and 170 to 74 gold to get a random 77 to 79 gold harvest. Also, there's also another one like the side dish here, Exchange 175 to 79 overall gold player to earn your choice of one side dish collectible. You can use these to upgrade from 77 to 84 on those players. Uh, here is the store in terms of packs. You can mean 82 to 89 overall harvest player pack. Uh, there's a harvest pack and a 24 times harvest bundle as well. Now here is how you actually upgrade the players like the 76 Tom Brady. You go into his power progression system and as you guys can see, you just have to add in the collectibles to make them up to a 92. Now it's not going to be the same one like the one before is rolls. You can see here at 80, you need to add a corn collectible. And finally at the end, you have to add in uh, a gravy collectible to get them up to a 92 overall. These players do quick sell, of course, for 40, uh, 4,735 training, which is half of the regular value per usual. And there is some other packs in the store which you guys can actually get with training, including fantasy packs for collectibles. There's a wishbone pack, which is like a re-roll, he said. So it's like a quick sell pack, I guess. Uh, and a 77, 79 harvest and 80 to 89 as well and that is actually everything with the harvest promo so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like on the video and of course hit that sub button down below let me know what you think about the harvest promo i will drop a video tomorrow a lot of videos tomorrow going over everything with this promo trying to help you guys out as much as i possibly can so if there's anything specifically you guys want to see comment down below i'll see you guys next time